I am Master Sergeant Ileana Suarez, and I work uh, with the 185th Air Refueling Wing here in Sioux City, Iowa. Well, we have over 90 different careers and uh, all kind of jobs and trades, which pre pretty much people can use them in the civilian. Uh, the Air National Guard is a part-time job, so they can work only one week in a month. And uh, some of the jobs are civil engineering, which we have like carpentry, plumbing, uh, electrical, you know, air conditioning, all this stuff. Uh, we have medical, we have a clinic, so we have all kinds of people there that works in the medical field and the administration part of it too. Uh, of course, we have airplanes, KC-135s, so maintenance side, we have all kinds of jobs in mechanics, jet engine mechanics, aviation, uh, flight controls, uh, you name it. I mean, there's we have a lot of people working in there. Vehicle maintenance, so we also have mechanics in that area. Uh, communication in squadron, so we have students uh, that come and do all kinds of firewalls and uh, cyber security and things like that. Computers big these days, you know, so we have all kinds of jobs with that. So yeah, over 90 different careers. The Air National Guard is a good program for somebody who wants to achieve more education. Uh, and you know, we have, that's the part-time, there's full-timers, um, but the Air National Guard has a good education package, and it's been bonus of $20,000, 100% uh, tuition assistance to any Iowa college or university. And we have something we call the Montgomery GI Bill, which is like a scholarship. Uh, you don't have to apply for it, you just have to become a member and work for us part-time. And uh, that is around $750, just, you know, it splits in different things, but it's $364, tax-free money, plus what we call the kicker, you know, $350. So it's pretty good cash to go to school. Most of the kids enlist for six years. And, uh, and they can enlist when they are done with the junior and start their senior year. So all their senior year counts toward military uh, service. So in reality, five after that, and they go to college. So another four if they get a bachelor's degree. By the time they're done with the college, they are also done with their military service. They're not um, required to re-enlist if they don't want to. You know, they're done at this six year frame, or most of them rent list, you know, and they want to continue because it's only one week in a month, they make good money, and they get paid for their education. But it's six years. You have opportunities to travel all around the world, especially during the summer, which is when you're out of school. Um, then you come and do some kind of training. Uh, but Sioux City will be your base. You know, our base is located in Sergeant Bluff. And uh, once a month you come here and you do your duty. Sunday about 3.30 you go home or go to the University of Iowa or whatever you're going, you know, Morningside College or whatever you're going, and then come back and do only one week in a month. You gotta be 17 year old at least and with parental consent. And once you're 18, you don't need parental consent, but you can enlist when you're 17 and done with your junior year. I like it's high. <laughs> and uh, we want to support the school, and especially to the students. I want to say, um, think in your future. Open your mind to opportunities. Uh, there's wonderful opportunities out there. And the military is one of the easiest ways to pay for college. Uh, they definitely have a very good program. Air National Guard is a very safe branch in the sense that, uh, you know, we're kind of local and, and we are a, a mobility command. We support what's going on in our nation, especially, so that's it. <laughs>